Commission member. Should talk to him. Good to see you. Be careful. Ancient forest, huh? Easy place to get lost, looks like. Should follow the map. Try to find the commission members. Commission member. Should be one in this area. What do we have here? Hmm, a journal. Notes run margin to margin. Must belong to one of the commission members. Need to look around, look for clues. Long stride, deep prints. Took off in a panic. Footprints lead deeper into the woods. Wonder what spooked them. Tracks all over the place. Hmm. Something pounce on them, they get attacked. Need to look around some more. Another journal. Same researchers, judging by the handwriting. Researcher must have been chased into this cave. Medallions humming up a storm. Magic in the air. Gotta be. Tree roots? All extending in one direction. Reaching out for something, looks like. Need to follow these roots. More tracks. Irregular distance between them. Got away somehow, but must have been exhausted. Beasts are of this world. Unlucky ones at that. No signs of predation. Roots choke them to death, it seems. Hopefully whoever left these footprints was luckier. Oh my! A fiver! You sensed I was in trouble and came to rescue me, did you? These roots came out of nowhere and trapped me here. Hmm? Wait, you're not from the Fifth, are you? Name's Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Was sent here to look into certain events happened recently in these woods. Ah, yes. The commander spoke of you. You look quite spunky. Well, welcome to the new world. I would shake your hand, but, well, you know. I am a member of the Research Commission. A master of the botanical arts, so to speak. Roots seem to like you. A lot. Ugh, I assure you the feeling is not mutual. There I was, minding my business whilst conducting my investigation, when suddenly, these roots just leaped out towards me. There was no time to think, so I ran away as fast as my legs could carry me. But I was able to outmaneuver them for a while, but eventually they cornered me here and, well, I was just in the middle of trying to persuade my captors to release me when you showed up. 
Mean to say you tried to talk the roots around to your point of view? Bit carefree under the circumstances, wouldn't you say? The Commission has quite a capable hunter, you see. This Sapphire Star is the first to arrive at the scene. And exhibits incredible power that never fails to save the day. Our Sapphire Star has saved so many of us in the Commission. I was sure I would be rescued in no time. But perhaps I rely on our hunter too much. Hmm. Think you might have learned your lesson? Lesson? Why, the lesson has yet to begin! There is much research to be done on this phenomenon. Guess not. Need a hand? Please! There are hunters who are in need of my services. This is no time for me to be tied up in roots. All right. But what's in it for me? Ah, I had a feeling you would say that. Alas, I don't exactly carry a pouch full of zenny on me at all times. However much you require, I'm sure the commander will gladly compensate you. Would that suffice? Gotta say, you're awfully lively for someone who's trapped in tree roots. We'll talk compensation later. Don't exactly look like normal tree roots, these. Definitely something strange about them. And, uh, freeing you might cause you some discomfort. Sorry. I leave the method to you. Just get me out of here. Not the safest way. But Igni would take care of those roots right quick. You all right? Thank you. Thank you. That was incredible. Oh my, I had no idea you were a wizard. I'm no wizard. I'm a witcher. Monster slayer. Ah, yes. Forgive me, Master Witcher. Now, what brings you to this part of the forest? Looking for information. Saw roots like these on my way here. They common in your world? Absolutely not. I've never seen them before, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I actually did. It is true that plants are able to grow rapidly depending on the stage in their life cycle, but they never grow that fast. In our world, the people, monsters, plants, they all operate on the same flow of time and energy. Of course, there are natural phenomena, and at times, things can and do grow at abnormal rates. But those roots are something more. I can't think of any logical way to explain it. The only possibility I can think of is that it might be akin to something like that magic of yours. The roots. Why'd they attack you? Any idea? I haven't the faintest. I was recording in my notebook at the time. Notice anything else during the attack? In all honesty, once the roots took hold, I thought I would end up as some monster's dinner. But luckily, that didn't happen. You saw them too, yes? Those poor Puke Puke choked to death by the roots? Seems they were untouched by any predators. Guess the roots attack anything that wanders within range. Damn territorial, this thing we're dealing with, whatever it is. Plants can be territorial, but never with such awareness. This is no plants doing. It must be something else. So, like plants so much you became a botanist, huh? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. Sometimes it's hard to tell if I love them or hate them. You see, we Wyvarians have a longer lifespan than humans. And when you live for so long, you become aware of certain things. How fleeting life can be, for instance. But plants are different. I can always count on them to be there, no matter how many years pass. In other words, I chose to lead a life with plants so I wouldn't have to bear the pain of seeing my human companions come and go. Call me Craven, if you will. But that was the path I chose to walk. And if that makes me a coward, so be it. Fear of loss. Wouldn't call it cowardly. 
It's something we all feel. What's amusing is, thanks to my research on plants, I ended up interacting with humans on a daily basis. Plants have brought back to me what I had once thrown away, and I am forever grateful for it. These, uh, Puke Puke, what kind of beasts are we talking about? They are large bird wyverns, known for their vividly colorful feathers and scales. They have large, bulgy eyes and surprisingly long tongues, but if you look closely, their features are actually quite charming. You should see one for yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep my eyes peeled. Time I was on my way. Try to stay out of trouble, would you? Might not be around next time to burn you free. Can't always expect hunters to come to your rescue either. All right, you are. I've acquired the samples I need, so I'll remain here on my best behavior. Best of luck to you out there, Master Witcher. Mm-hmm. Just try to keep quiet, all right? Clear as day. This is the work of something that wields magic. Powerful magic. Need to figure out what it is. Should try to find another commission member. Exploring unfamiliar territory, few things more interesting. member could know something that monster mangled pretty bad from what I can see you got that right huh wait a sec aren't you Geralt right the Witcher guy the commander said you'd be around if there's anything I can do to help just say the word actually need to learn about the recent strange happenings in the forest Got a feeling that carcass could be linked. You might be right. I've never seen monsters leave their prey looking like this. Like to check the body if you don't mind. Let's have a look. Herbivore, gotta be, judging by the shape of its head. That's right! It's called an Aptonoth. Very docile. They usually travel in herds. All of them this big? Quite the feast for a predator. Yeah, they're actually a favorite among the larger monsters, and, um, well, us too. You could say they are quite tasty. Uh, but yeah. It's not uncommon to see an Abdenoth carcass lying around here and there. Bodies riddled with puncture wounds. Yeah, by something small and pointy. Bird's beaks, lots of them. Looks like a whole flock attacked it. Broken bones, swollen muscles. It was running away from something. Collapsed here. Aptonoth will only run if they feel threatened. The whole herd will run to a safer location. No other Aptonoth around. Whatever attacked this one waited until it had separated from the herd. Clever. So, seems a flock of birds attacked it after it was separated from the herd. Ran for its life while being pecked at. Dropped dead here. It's so strange. I've never seen these birds prey on living monsters. It's just unheard of. Gonna search the area, see if I can find more clues. Okay, I'll be around here if you need anything. Should search around the body. 
Might find the tracks of whatever did this. Feathers, black, from the birds that attacked the Aptonoth, gotta be. Just need to follow these. Should find where it was first attacked. Black feathers. And the markings? Same as on the previous corpse. Fox seems to be attacking as one. No use trying to pick them off one by one. Could incinerate them all with Igni, though. Don't see any other way. You okay, Witcher... sir? I'm fine. Seems the black birds are the culprits. Revultures. They're scavenger birds that enjoy large monsters' leftovers. They're usually harmless. I can't believe they would attack a living Aptonoth. Those birds attacked me, too. Any idea why they suddenly turned aggressive? To be honest, I'm just as clueless as you. Unless... there was some kind of external factor? Something significant enough to cause a sudden change in the ecosystem. Something that nudged them to the brink of starvation, for instance? Exactly. It didn't, did you see how they were flying? Completely in unison. It was like one big flock monster. I've been out here in the forest researching endemic life longer than I'd like to admit, but I've never seen them do that. It was as if something was manipulating them. Notice anything else in the forest recently? Anything out of the ordinary? Come to think of it, I think I spotted a new form of endemic life. It was just once, at night. It ran away when it saw me, though. Necker could be. Small humanoid creature, ugly smirk on its face. Got lucky. Would have attacked you in the blink of an eye if it thought for a moment it was stronger than you. Now that you mention it, it... had something on its face. Around its mouth. Like it had just eaten something. This forest is teeming with life. There's an intricate food chain here that is constantly revolving. I wonder if that Necker lost its need to attack anything because it was able to find plenty to eat without doing so. Pretty bold hypothesis. Though it would explain why this one wasn't aggressive. They usually are. I haven't seen it in a while, though. I wonder where it scurried off to. Might have sensed my presence. Danger. Run off somewhere. Once I'm gone, it could come crawling back. If it does, I'll send for our best hunter to capture it. Mind my asking why you chose this line of work? I've always loved critters ever since I was little. That... And it's easy peasy. I'll spare you the details, but long story short, one day I went out looking for frogs, lizards, and snails. And the next thing I knew, I was out here. Just like magic, don't you think? I owe it all to my partners in research for always being so patient with me. See where you're coming from. Got folk like that in my world, in my life, too. They're too good to me. My life wouldn't be what it is today without him. Take care now. Be careful out there, Witcher. Hmm. Control of plants and animals. Cunning as a hare and fox combined. No doubt about it. This is a Leshen's doing. Bet it also transported both me and that Necker to this world. Seems stronger than a normal lesson, though. Abundant life in this forest could be a factor. All right, need to find its totem. Should be deep in the woods near the center.
map ought to be helpful. Current location, points of interest. I can use this to figure out my way around. <laughs> Could get used to that. Huh? Medallions humming. Totem must be somewhere around here. Totem should be able to lure the Leshen out by destroying it. Huh? Damn it. Might have known it couldn't possibly be that easy. Closer. Ever fight a witcher? Leshen could hold sway over other beasts I run into. Need to be careful. should do the trick. That all you got? that 
to do something about it teleporting. Maybe I could use the Slinger contraption. You got... Not about to let you get away that easy. certain body parts. How you like that silver?
It's waning. Silver. You got...
like that silver. Closer.
Time to end this. your way. Let's go. That all you got? Sir.
Come on. That's silver. You got... That's silver.
Woods ought to settle down now, return to normal. Leshen drew a lot of nutrients out of these woods. These materials are strong. Should deliver them to the Commission. Could be useful in their research. You have our deepest thanks. We couldn't have solved that problem on our own. It's been an honor, Geralt of Rivia. Thank you for coming to the New World. How will you get back to your world? Leshen's portals, I think. Pretty sure I'll find one still open. Huh. Where's that hunter? While I tended to the Leshen, he cleared the forest of a lot of filth. He's our brightest star, so he's rarely in one place for too long. As soon as that Leshen was taken care of, he was already off on another assignment. He sends his regards. Now then, here's your reward. Hmm. Hefty as that coin is. It can't possibly have any value in my world. Give it to the hunter. I couldn't have killed the Leshen without his help anyway. And this, also for your hunter. What is it? A runestone. Your hunters don't wield any magic of their own. But in our world, magic exists in some objects as a matter of course. If a Leshen ever appears again, tell your hunter to use it to summon flames. All right. Godspeed to you. Take care. <laughs>